It's a little bit windy out here because it rained last night and this morning we're trying to go on a hike uh, at like 7 a.m. and it turns out that in the mountains when it rains and when the leaves fall uh, it is really hard to get out and our Airbnb is like actually in a very steep decline um, so basically the leaves were so slippery that we couldn't get out, we kept slipping. It was basically hydroplaning. Um, so we just reversed back and came back and we just went for a quick walk around, which was still really pretty. Um, and that was the clips I showed this morning. So yeah, this is going to be a workday vlog. Today I have very exciting things going on, specifically a kickoff for a project that I've been working on for the past few months and this is finally something is like officially happening with it. Um, today's the official kickoff date. Besides that, I have a few other meetings this afternoon that I can share with you guys later, but it's gonna be a pretty busy day starting this afternoon. Um, my first meeting is at 11, so this morning I'm doing some training on Ghidra, which is a reverse engineering tool. And I've already been kind of doing some training on it previously, but there was a capture of the flag I was doing and now I'm just kind of learning basic material because all this stuff is pretty new to me and sorry for all the noise it is a uh, heat's going on as well as the wind and the trees but i seriously cannot get tired of this view outside our balcony it's crazy but yeah for anything else that's interesting that will happen today i will let you guys know and keep you updated okay bella wants to come outside she's been uh she's definitely been feeling these leaves i feel like she would like one maybe i should bring her one bella so this is his work setup monitor on top of a box and then something really important pasta <laughs> pasta box <laughs> Jason was probably looking for that yesterday oh, really? and this is screen with a privacy screen on and then I just have my work laptop and my personal laptop Great cabin mate. Hi guys, we're currently sitting outside for a change of scenery. Um, just got off about an hour and a half of, of calls. And also in the middle of it, my internet was a little bit weird or spotty. So I had to move to hotspot, which isn't always the best, but honestly it was better than uh, my internet here. I think it's gonna fully come back on. Uh, hopefully soon, but I have a meeting in about 30 minutes. And yeah, it's one of those times where unforeseen things can cause some stress throughout the workday. Um, but honestly, I think I feel pretty good about the day so far. Um, I finished up one or two tickets this morning, but they're relatively small. And then this is one of my major projects that are kicking off. And then another project that I'm working on is actually getting passed to another teammate. Um, so I think at some point I'm gonna have to ask my manager for more work to do, which is kind of funny to say. Um, I know I talk about like work-life balance and just like keeping your plate full of things that are important. So, but I still think that sometimes there are definitely gonna be things that you want to add to learn about. And this is definitely one of those times, but yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I don't really know what projects I would get um, at my level. Even after being here for about, how long would it have been? Like 10 months, almost a year, which is crazy. Um, I still feel like, I still feel like there's so much I don't know. And I feel like that's just a feeling that'll never go away. Overall, I think it's just constantly learning and improving. And I'm not saying this to sound down because um, obviously I always feel like there's always something new to learn, but especially when my teammates are like 
10 plus years of experience down the line than me and yeah it's just one of those days where you kind of get that realization kind of more vividly in your mind i guess but overall work has been pretty good so far um it is hump day so obviously there's only two days left in the week and it's gonna be really busy because i have this big project that i have to complete the rollout of or like begin and hopefully my internet fingers crossed it's going to be okay during that call um otherwise i'll just turn off my video i guess but there's other people also working from home so yeah it's just one of those one of those things but anyways look at this front yard view so this is the house nearby us but the leaves are so pretty this is like the most orange i've seen in my entire life i think and earlier we we're trying to get up this road if you guys can see but if you keep going down it's so steep um that our car would not go up and it has four wheel drive so if you see this all the way down this is leaves because it rained last night and all the way up there and then if you go down that peak there's like a really pretty sharp downhill and then there's another really sharp uphill and the uphill is where we got stuck we could not move our car which is this rental car that's a chrysler with four-wheel drive and it's crazy nature i tell you um but i think someone is coming soon to uh leaf blow okay now i know why leaf blowers are so important i never understood what they were used for in the past or why people had to feel the need to blow leaves away but now i know it's a safety reason okay so i'm gonna go back in and i'll talk to you guys maybe later we might head out for dinner soon um or we might have we might head out for dinner in the city if these leaves are blown away uh by the time five o'clock rolls around so yeah <laughs> Your arms are crossed. There's two types of cats. There's that, and then there's that, and then maybe even that. Three types of cats. I just finished work it has been a long long day the internet is still spotty but hopefully the host can give us an update because apparently there was some kind of accident and that's why there's an outage but yeah i'm hoping it'll be back by tomorrow but otherwise i'll just be working off of spotty hotspot i guess but yeah overall today was a very good oh, there's a little mark see this is why i don't like wearing my glasses um outside of just using my laptop because it leaves these marks on my nose I think it's not fitted well but yeah overall today was a pretty good day also a very good learning experience like I mentioned we kicked off the project that I was working on for the last few months and I'm really excited to see it play out and somehow it feels like a lot everything just built up to today and now it's finally complete and it actually seems so much more simple than or like so much more easy now that it's complete yeah I, I think in cybersecurity, just projects in general take a whole lot of people a whole lot of teams and a whole lot of input from others and yeah it's not always like you want to do something and then you just go ahead and do it you want input from your team you want input from your stakeholders um, whether they're internal or external and you also just want to think about how this new technology or new project or process or whatever it is is going to fit into your existing infrastructure and your existing processes that you have as well as just ways to automate and things like that which kind of come later i guess but it's still something you want to think about in the beginning um but yeah things that i've learned so far working um as a security analyst in my current role 
and now we are going to a restaurant the place that we originally wanted to go to was called mama's chicken i think but it is currently closed um somehow it's closed on wednesdays which is really random but now we're going to a french place which is nearby i believe or not nearby but um it's also in this vicinity of that chicken place the only time i've had french food was this one time and they fed me rabbit wasn't very into it because I had a pet rabbit when I was younger and I got really sentimental about it um, which obviously people eat rabbit around the world in different countries so I mean even in the US so yeah I just it was just a personal preference but yeah overall I am you know a person who prefers Asian food over anything else but there isn't very much Asian food around here which kind of makes sense we're in Tennessee but yeah we're gonna go get dinner and then I'll probably take you guys with us and yeah we'll probably finish up the night with some card games and board games and you can also tell it's super gloomy out still, but the landlord did say that, or the host did say that someone came to blow the leaves off the roads. So it looks like it down there too. Um, so hopefully we don't slip and die and don't fall off the cliff. <laughs> We're heading to dinner. I have two bars of battery on my count on my camera, and hopefully this lasts. <laughs> Guys, whoever rented this car before us <laughs> wrote the name as stupid. So when I came in the car, it was literally like "Welcome, stupid." <laughs> Reminds me of the house in Kung Fu Hustle. It was taller. If you guys have watched that movie, if you haven't, you should. The mountain it looks so pretty here. <laughs> Did you realize that? Yeah, that looked like an oven. Is your veggies for the grill asparagus? Oh, this is there. Is there anything? Oh, that's um, it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Or I'll get some paper. No. This one's not going to. I flipped that already. The other side's not flipped that. I don't think it's mine. Do you want to clean it? Isn't that marshmallow right there? We'll kind of continue to film. <laughs> In a moonshine store. Wow, moonshine cherries. Not gonna lie, I do love cherries. Getting some groceries. 